Dear students, welcome to the session on Cauchy homogeneous linear differential equation. In this session, we are going to see the in this session we are going to see the definition and then few simple problems on Cauchy linear differential equation. Linear differential equation with variable coefficients. So till now, from all our previous videos, we are dealing with differential equations with constant coefficient, second order differential equation. Homogeneous linear differential equation, etc., etc. Now we are going to deal with variable coefficient. The first kind is Cauchy homogeneous linear differential equation. Here a not, a one, a two, etc., a n are the constant. You can see if you have d square y by dx square, it should be multiplied with x square. If you have dy by dx, it should be multiplied with x. This is the variable coefficient. On the right hand side, we always take it as q of x. So where a not, a one, a two, etc., up to a n are constants. And very important, a not should not be equal to zero. If a not is equal to zero, then the whole term gets zero. So we cannot say is is the nth order partial. Differential equation. This is also known as Euler-Cauchy linear equation or Euler's linear equation. This can be reduced to a linear differential equation with constant coefficient. Now it has variable coefficient. I can reduce to constant coefficients by assuming this condition: x equal to e power z, then z equal to log x, then d z by dx is equal to 1 by x if these three conditions we apply we can reduce it to a linear differential equation with constant coefficients now let us go into the problem there i will tell the procedure tricks how to tackle the problem in a very simple way in your exam point of view they don't mention anything they simply give solve you have to identify whether the problem is variational parameter or type 1 or type 2 or type 3 or cauchy or or legendre etc etc so now see this differential equation x square our notation is capital d square because we know d equal to d by dx d square is equal to d square by dx square so we write in our notation x square capital d square Plus 4x capital D plus 2. I'll take this y commonly out. On the other side, we have x square plus 1 by x square. So it looks like a Cauchy linear differential equation because d square x square x d constant. Now we have to convert this into a constant coefficient, and we have to solve the problem, and we have to find the solution. Now we declare this as a Cauchy equation. Next, we have to make a table. What are all the changes we are going to make? So as the condition said. x equal to e power z is it equal to log x etc we are going to apply 1 by 1 so i am assuming x equal to e power z do you understand student i am converting the problem x to z so when i give the final answer i have to convert from z to x because it is my responsibility to convert from z to x for so here the assumptions are x equal to e power z then if you take log on both sides we can easily get z equal to log x now i am assuming z for my convenience so d means d by dx theta means d by dz that is the assumptions we are using so now just a simple trick if you are in india you have to use rupees if you are in america you have to use dollar so this is no way connected with mathematics okay if the problem is d you have to use d by dx if the problem is theta you have to use d by dz so that means if the problem with capital d your answers are should be in x in the right hand side if your problem is in theta then the answer should be in the right hand side as z hope you understand next uh, since we don't have a derivation i am just skipping the theoretical part how to convert this x d just now i write x square d square plus 4 x d plus 2 into y is equal to x square plus 1 by x square now i want to convert this into theta then only i can able to solve from variable coefficient to constant coefficient x into capital d is going to be theta x square into capital d square is theta into theta minus 1 so just don't get confused see here it is very clear when i want to solve a cauchy linear differential equation put x equal to e power z z equal to log x d equal to d by dx theta equal to d by dz and then x d equal to theta x square d square is equal to theta into theta minus 1 my job is to convert the problem in terms of 
is it now x square d square 4x d plus 2 into y is equal to x square plus 1 by x square first we have to replace this x square plus d square can be replaced by theta into theta minus 1 and then x into d replaced by theta so we can see theta into theta minus 1 4 times theta plus 2 into y is equal to x square plus 1 by x square now simplifying this theta square minus theta plus 4 theta plus 2. So, my left hand side is getting over. How to convert my right hand side? Just have a look on it. If you have e power z, it is going to be x. If you have e power 2 z, it is going to be e power z whole square. That is going to be my x square. Therefore, your x square is e power 2 z. Your x cube is e power 3 z. Your x power minus 1 means e power minus z. Now, see here, I have x square. So, x square means e power 2 z. This is over. Now, the next one I have 1 by x square. That is e power minus 2 is that. That is there work. Now, LHS is ready. RHS is also ready. We have to solve the problem. Now, it has two PIs. PI1 plus PI2. So, let us first find the CF. Put theta equal to m. We have m square plus 3m plus 2 equal to 0. We know that easily we can split into m plus 1 into m plus 2. Therefore, m equal to minus 1 minus 2. CF, very important. We should be very careful students. If I have capital D, then my answer will be in terms of x. If I have theta, then my answers will be in terms of z. Now, let us go for the pi's. pi1, pi2. After this, nothing students. Once you convert into constant coefficient, we are going to solve just like that. Now, let us calculate pi1 and pi2. My pi1 is 1 by theta square plus 3 theta plus 2 e power 2 z. We know theta is replaced by a. Here, a is equal to 2. So, let us assume our denominator as dr. So, now, when you calculate 2 square is 4, 3 into 2, 6 plus 2, 12. My denominator is 12. Thank God it is not equal to 0. Therefore, my pi1 is going to be 1 by 12 because it is denominator e power 2 is z. pi1 gets over. Next, we are going for pi2. Now, theta is replaced by a. So, here theta is minus 2. Now, calculate the denominator. It is going to be minus 2 whole square 3 into minus 2 plus 2. It is 0. Now, what is the rule? You have to pre-multiply by z because we are solving for theta. India, Indian rupees. US, dollar. D means answer should be x. Theta means answer should be z. So, now differentiating the denominator alone will be getting 2 theta plus 3. Now, as usual, you have to calculate denominator. Now, calculate denominator as usual. 2 into theta value is minus 2 plus 3. So, minus 4 plus 3 is going to be minus 1. Therefore, my denominator is not equal to 0 now. It is going to be z into 1 divided by minus 1 e power minus 2 z. So, minus z e power minus 2 z. Problem over. So, we found our pi1, pi2, cf. Now, write this. So, my cf is going to be a e power minus z, b e power minus 2 z. Pi1 is e power 2z by 12. Pi2 is minus z e power minus 2z. This is my y. But I said at the end of the problem, I have to give the answer in terms of x because z is my assumption. And how to do this? I clearly said x equal to e power z means x square is e power 2z. x cube is e power 3z. x power minus 1 is e power minus z. So, we can easily write the answer a e power minus z is x power minus 1 then b e power minus 2 z is x power minus 2 e power 2 z is x square divided by 12 minus z is log x e power minus 2 z is x power minus 2 finally i can rewrite this as 1 by x 1 by x square 1 by x square and this is my final answer hope you understand we'll go one more problem on this same title See here, we have to write in our format x square capital D square x into capital D plus 1 into y is equal to 4 sin log x. So, we can see d square x square dx. It is Cauchy linear differential equation. Therefore, I have to go for the table as usual x equal to e power z my assumption z equal to log x is my assumption then d means d by dx theta means d by dz x d is theta x square d square is theta into theta minus 1 now substituting this 
will be getting theta into theta minus 1 plus theta plus 1 into y is 4 sin log x. Don't get panic on seeing this. We know log x is z. So, the problem will become simply 4 sin z. Now, this minus theta plus theta will get cancelled. We will be getting theta square plus 1 into y is equal to 4 sin z. This is going to be very, very simple students. First, let us find my cf. Put theta equal to m. We will be getting m square plus 1 equal to 0. So, m square equal to minus 1 m equal to plus or minus i. So, the roots are complex or imaginary. This is going to be 0 plus or minus i. So, a cos z plus b sin z is my answer because I am solving for theta. Answer should be z. Should be very careful. I am keep on telling this because it should be going to your mind. Now, we are going for pi. As usual, for right hand side, if you have sin, theta square should be replaced by minus a square. Here, theta square is a value. Here, here a value is minus 1. Here, a value is 1. So, theta square is minus 1. Now, when you calculate the denominator, it is going to be 0 because the denominator is minus 1 plus 1. Now, what you have to do? We keep this 4 is at right hand side. So, 4 into z. When I differentiate, I will be getting 2 theta sin z. Now, 2 to get cancel. I know only values for d theta square. But here I have theta. So, I am multiplying and dividing by theta. I will be getting sin z. Now, we know theta square value is minus 1. So, 2 is at 1 by minus 1 theta of sin z. Theta of sin z is nothing but differentiation of sin z with respect to z. It is going to be cos z. So, minus 2 z cos z. This is going to be my pi. There is one more method. 2 z 1 by theta sin z is there. This is my pi. Instead of multiplying and dividing, simply 1 by theta is there. Theta means differentiation of z. 1 by theta means integration of z. So, those who are confident in integration, you can do this method also. I can write sin z dz. So, now integration of sin z is minus cos z. So, my answer is minus 2 z cos z. So, either you can follow this or you can follow this, whatever you like. Now, we write the general solution. A cos z, B sin z, minus 2 z cos z. Now, I have to convert everything in terms of x. A cos z is log x. Similarly, B sin z is log x, minus 2 z is log x, cos log x. Problem gets over. Simple students. So, just understand the problem. Convert the problem. Solve it. The clue is D means answer should be in terms of x. Theta means answer should be in terms of he said, we should have to remember. At the end of the problem, we have to convert everything into x. Yeah. That's it. I think these two problems are more than enough for you to understand the knowledge on Cauchy linear differential equation. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.